multiple choice questions and fill up the blank for board exams. Also find CET and NEET previous year question papers explanation with shortcut. Link is in the description box. Download our class from Google Play. Find out courses on CET and NEET physics. Get surprised with the content and the price. Prepare well for the exam. Now, the angle between electric dipole moment and electric field strength due to it on the equatorial line is 180 degree. Recall the expression for electric field. Electric field is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught minus P by R cube. Is that it? So minus sign says opposite to the direction of electric field. Dipole moment is opposite to electric field. 180 degree. Electrostatic potential is constant throughout volume of the conductor and has same value as inside on its surface. Statement electric field inside a charged conductor is zero. Yes, electric field is zero and has no tangential component on the surface. Electric field is zero, therefore there is no tangential component. So both these statements are correct. Both these statements are correct and two is correct explanation of one. Both these statements are correct is not the explanation of one. Wrong, wrong, no. Electric field inside a charged conductor is zero and has no tangential component. If this is the simplest spherical shell, if it is charged, then electric field equal to zero. And on the surface, electric field is perpendicular. This cannot be the explanation of this. So that's why not correct explanation of one. The direction of current density, recall J equal to sigma E. Direction of current density is in the direction of electric field, opposite to the direction along the direction of field. Perpendicular, no. Use this equation. Lorentz force is a force on a charged particle moving in a region containing only, only both electric and magnetic fields. Only crossed magnetic and electric fields, not necessarily crossed. Only is not correct. So, 3. What's the expression for Lorentz force? F equal to cube into E plus cube into V cross B. So this is the expression for Lorentz force. See, theta can be anything. Angle between electric and magnetic field can be anything. Here, only crossed. Crossed means theta is 90 degree, perpendicular. Okay. At high enough temperature, a ferromagnetic becomes paramagnetic. There is transition from ferro to para. Diamagnetic remains a ferromagnet, non-magnetic. SI unit of magnetic flux. Magnetic flux is B dot A, isn't it? B is Tesla meter square or B is Weber per meter square. A is meter square. Weber per meter square. See, this get cancels with this. Either Weber or Tesla meter square. Tesla meter square, just Weber. This is Tesla per meter square.
the law which gives the polarity of induced emf polarity of induced emf or direction of induced current lens law faraday's law gives magnitude the relation between rms voltage and peak voltage rms equal to v not by root 2 the source of electromagnetic waves are stationary charges charges in uniform motion neutrons accelerated charge accelerated charge because of oscillation of electron because of acceleration of charged particles a converging lens is kept in contact coaxially with a diverging lens both the lenses being equal focal lengths what is the focal length of the combination focal length of the combination is infinity how 1 by f equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 this is the equivalent let equivalent be f dash there is a convex lens so 1 by f with concave plus 1 by minus f minus f for concave okay convex plus f so this minus this zero equal to zero so one by equivalent equal to zero this implies that f dash should be infinity infinity means very high value infinity power is zero effective power is zero for focal length is infinity so we have zero as well as infinity materials used to control the intensity of light in sunglasses polarizers polarizers are used to cut off the intensity decrease the intensity of light which of the following method cannot be used to liberate electrons from the metal surface heating thermionic emission cannot be used using very high electric field field emission using light radiation of suitable frequency photoelectric cooling cooling we won't get emission therefore this is the answer thermionic field emission this is photoelectric emission the minimum energy required to free an electron from the ground state of hydrogen atom is because in hydrogen atom electron is held with 13.6 ev so to remove this we have to supply plus 13.6 ev of energy okay the radioactive decay in which high energy photons are emitted high energy photons means gamma decay gamma decay energy is in terms of mega electron volt 10 to the power of 6 10 to the power of 6 electron volt a p type semiconductor is positively charged negatively charged it is electrically neutral holes are majority charge carriers that's all okay positively charged and negatively charged depending on the type of impurity added electrically neutral p type positive type because holes are majority charge carriers holes are not excess over the negative charges okay so each and every atom in the semiconductor is electrically neutral so it is neutral
there is a force of dash between two straight parallel conductors carrying currents in the same direction attraction so this is one attraction 16th question 16th question self index inductance of a coil depends upon dash of the medium permeability of the medium 17th the phenomenon of dash is consistent with the principle of conservation of energy phenomenon of interference of light 18th this is 18th interference of light in interference energy is neither created nor destroyed total energy remains same constant the process responsible for energy generation in stars energy generation in stars nuclear fusion this is 19th the gap between top of the valence band and bottom of the conduction band is energy gap this is 20th don't forget to check the description box